quack, 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 quack. Could you turn down the stereo? Sure. I guess it was a little noisy. A little? Okay, I'm taking you down to precinct. Breath, blood, or urine. No thanks, I'm full. <laughs> Put on the pads, boy. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, all you wild hockey enthusiasts? It's your favorite coaches back here. Coach Logan Myers and my good mate over there. Coach Henry Hill. Here for Cinefellas, and tonight we're going to get a little nostalgic with y'all. Uh, a movie that we both grew up with in 1992, the original Mighty Ducks Disney movie, and I revisited it last night to prep for the new TV show. And yes, I'm talking about Mighty Ducks Game Changers that just premiered on Disney Plus today, and we're going to talk about it. They're bringing back all the old all the old ducks. Eventually we'll see them, but most importantly, they're bringing back old Uncle Emilio as Coach Gordon Bombay. In uh, this one, he uh, isn't fresh off a of DUI, but it sure is nice to see him again. <laughs> He's fresh off some Metamucil. <laughs> we'll go like Martin Sheen now, but... Uh, I don't like hockey and I don't like kids. <laughs> yeah, he's very grumpy. Yeah, I mean, what she says in the first movie, which is hilarious. But this is almost 30 years later. First movie came out in 1992. So it's fun revisiting the original in the 90s fashion and the bad jokes and the cast. You know, the, you know, young kids, and now they're all grown adults now. Some went on to be pretty big actors, uh, being Joshua Jackson and a few others. Um, but this show picks up 30 years later. We have a new... Uh, character Evan. He's on the Mighty Ducks. They're kind of like the new Hawks. They've uh, been champions, state champions like 10 times. And they're all kind of assholes now. They're really good. and They have like trainers and all the best hockey players basically playing for the Ducks. And Evan gets cut and sets up the first episode. Yeah, the, the opening scenes uh, remind me of, you know, playing baseball and football and all the sports growing up as a kid and once you get to a certain level the fun kind of gets taken out of it everything becomes serious trying to prep the kids who you know have dreams of going on to play professionally so they're practicing seven days a week they have to have all the perfect equipment um it's it, the fun's taken out of it really it's all serious it's all business um and that affects yeah this character of evan pra played by brady noon um, like you mentioned, he gets cut. He's just not fast enough. He doesn't have the right body type. All the other kids look like they're going on to be uh, college athletes. He's just kind of out of shape and isn't taking things so seriously. And we we meet his mom, played by Lauren Graham, uh, whose character's name is Alex. And she uh, sort of goes down on the ice and tears the coach a new one after he gets cut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she like flips out on him and it goes, the kids are taking video of this because you know, it's 2021. It's not like 1992. There's a lot of technology. People have phones. Kid, kids have phones. And they take this video of the mom snapping out of the coach and it goes viral. And then what she says has to do with the, the name of the team later on in the episode. So, yeah, that leads to finding out the new name of the team, which they eventually, after they assemble their squad of of uh, do-gooders do and nerds. They're going to go and have fun in their hockey team. This video goes viral, ends up becoming their team name later on in the episode, but we're introduced to the young cast, and uh, they're pretty good for the most part. I, the main character being Evan, then is like Buddy that has like a little podcast, hockey podcast, which is pretty cool. He's 12. He's going places in life, and then the rest of the, the kids that show up, a few girls, and a kid named Logan is like from Canada, I believe. And he can't Real dreamy, skate. but can't skate. <laughs> yeah, they kept having this like homoerotic scene with the wind, with his hair. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, calm down, boys. <laughs> but yeah, you think he's going to be a badass, be like the new Fulton, but he's not really. Um, and they got like a, a chubbier gamer kid that looks like Goldberg is the goalie. and The skater kid in school that's yep. real cool, real fast on skates. And he's going to be sort of, I guess he's going to be sort of the Fulton in this. So that being said, we're introduced to Emilio Estevez returning as coach Gordon Bombay. <laughs> Ugh, I hate hockey. He's kind of like, <laughs> he's not like the cliche character you see in a lot of movies. He's like kind of run down. He has a shitty job. He runs this ice rink that's all run down. And seems like he gave up on life and not happy. He doesn't want to talk about hockey or his past. Different character, pretty much, than the first movie where he's a successful lawyer, gets a DUI, you know, has to do community service and sets up the movie. But completely different. He's just, like, older now, looks like his dad and kind of depressed. But he was uh, 
really great in this first episode. I like seeing him acting again. I haven't seen Emilio in a long time. Yeah, it's it's been a long time since we've really seen him in anything. I know he's been directing movies, but we haven't really seen him in too many films. I think he's done some independent work. But yeah, it's really cool seeing him step back into this role in a completely different way now that he's older. And like you mentioned, his life, you know, he's he owns this dilapidated um, skating rink called the Ice Palace. He sort of go, you know, he cleans up at the end of the day when there's like a birthday party there. He goes over and takes a half eaten birthday cake and starts <laughs> eating that for his dinner and yeah. runs the Zamboni still. It's a broken down Zamboni that barely runs. And he, yeah, he's sort of down in the dumps, too. So. Uh, with this whole setup of, you know, this ragtag group of uh, kids playing hockey, it's going to sort of pick him up and get him going in life again. And I have a feeling they're going to set up um, Lauren Graham's Alex with Coach Bombay. I think that's going to be his new love interest. I can see it going that way. Sort of echoing the first movie with Charlie played by Josh Jackson, how Coach Bombay ends up uh, going out with his mom. And I think yeah. that's going to echo it in this in this show, too. Yeah, and this totally debunks our theory that we were talking about in the Cinefellas podcast, this being the adult Connie. And we knew it wasn't because Connie's been in the pictures from the original cast returning. So it's Alex and different characters. After we meet Coach Bombay, um, it's time for Evan to assemble a new team. You know, they, basically they read the rules. All they need for a team is, uh, you know, enough players and um, so he has to go assemble his crew. Uh, he gets his podcasting buddy, like you mentioned. Um, and then they go out and they are off to find some kids at school. They find the uh, person that looks a lot like Goldberg. Uh, they, they're they playing a um, hockey game on uh, Xbox or PlayStation. And he's a really good goalie in the game. And they end up like finding where he lives. And it just so happens he looks just like Goldberg. They start throwing things at him and he's blocking everything. So yeah. He's, <laughs> it's it's kind of cheesy, but it's you know it's Disney, so it's you know it's come to expect it. It's going to be a lighthearted show for sure. It's got yeah. it had a lot of the feelings of the of the original movie. I can see how it's setting things up. So yeah, overall, I I really like the episode. I like the kids that they have. That there weren't any kids that I didn't didn't really care for. Um, they they seem like they're going to be a group of kids that you're going to want to cheer for, and you're going to want to see Coach Bombay put the team together, get them training again. Yeah, um, they do do the flying V in this and they're and yeah. they're when they're playing, when they're practicing. So that was cool to see. And we know that there's already a Mighty Ducks team. So what I what my uh, prediction is for this, maybe they're going to play, you know, eventually they're going to play and they're going to maybe make a bet. Let's, you know, maybe we can if we beat you, we take the Mighty Ducks team name. I can see it going like that, maybe or something like that. They're going about this like the Cobra Kai approach where, you know, the good guys are the bad guys now. Mighty Ducks are the bad guys you know, they've been winning a ton of championships and, you know, they have a really good team. And now the Misfits here being the new Mighty Ducks, getting their team together. You're going to see where this is going to go. They're going to end up probably going to the championship and facing off against the Ducks and possibly taking the name as you're kind of predicting. Right. Just like the coach uh, in the first one, it's a younger coach for the Ducks this time. Uh, he's reminiscing a lot of that coach, just how he's like, just focusing on winning, doesn't care about having fun. He's all business. And, you know, him and Coach Bombay are going to end up uh, going head to head there. Um, so I guess, I don't know if Coach Bombay is officially the coach or not. Lauren Grand's sort of the, the coach for this one. So I think Gordon Bombay is going to kind of, uh, you know, mentor her um, and, uh, you know, give her tips and stuff because uh, her character was also, a, I think, a figure skater back in the day. We yeah. see her on the ice figure skating. It's, so she has some experience on the ice. Obviously doesn't know anything about hockey too much. Um, but, uh, yeah, so that'll be interesting to see how that uh, dynamic between her and Coach Bombay works out between their relationship and, like, the coaching. They may just do, like, a be both coaches or he, he's going to be like, get out of the way. Let me do this because she doesn't know what <laughs> yeah. she's doing. I don't, yeah. It can go either way, but they're probably going to team up. Obviously, she's probably the love interest and has some sort of romance throughout the season, but it's really all about these young kids, you know, these misfits, the rejects, I, I guess you can call them, all banding together for this team and seeing them become successful throughout the season, I'm assuming, and uh, probably leading up to the championship at the very end. And also seeing the original cast return, so I'm interested to see how that all plays together. I'm, I'm assuming just like a cameo showing up or something, but I'm excited for that. 
I am too. Yeah, I can't see. I can't wait to see the older characters return. Uh, maybe Coach Bombay, you know, has to motivate them in some way. So he calls back the original ducks and has them come in to give some motivation there and to give them some tips. Uh, we've yeah. seen we've seen some pictures of the original cast minus Josh Jackson and Goldberg. Um, uh, so we're hoping that uh, eventually they'll make an appearance. Uh, I don't, I think Goldberg said that he, they haven't asked him to come back. We haven't really heard anything from Josh Jackson, so we don't know if they're going to show up, but, uh, it's certainly anything can happen on the show that can bring anybody back, even from the second and third movies, which I need to revisit eventually. I haven't seen those in forever, but mainly this one is reminiscent a lot of the very first Mighty Ducks movie. Um, I had a, I had a pretty pretty good time watching it. I, there weren't a lot of complaints. I mean, nitpicks here and there, but overall, it's pretty much what I was expecting. It, it gave me what I wanted. I can't wait to see uh, what happens here, how the whole dynamic between these, the the new <clears throat> team of the hockey team and, you know, how they're sort of the outcasts at high school, how that's going to play out. Um, like you said, it, it reminds me a lot of Cobra Kai and that dynamic. So it'll be pretty interesting to see how that, uh, how everything shapes up for the rest of the season. And see how those underdogs do if they come out over over the top like this, <laughs> take down take down the ducks. You know, we have a lot of questions, but uh, yeah, it was a pretty good setup for the most part. I think a few of the performances by the kids fell flat for me. It, some of the dialogue seemed a little forced, but that's just nitpicking. It's Disney, you know. I'm not going to go about it like you know it's a high budget blockbuster movie or something, but yeah. uh, just a few nitpicks. But all around, I like the character introduction, seeing Coach Bombay back. Alex's character, uh, Lauren Graham, she's always fantastic in everything she's in. I love her, you know, kind of forming this relationship with uh, Coach Bombay and where that's all going to go and where, where these kids go in this season. So I'm pretty excited. It has my interest. I'm really looking forward to checking out the rest of the season and see how it all ends. So that being said, I had a really good time with the pilot episode of Mighty Ducks Game Changers. So I'm going to give it a four out of five duck hair pieces. <laughs> And I'm going to give it a three and a half out of five duck hair pieces. Quack, quack, quack. Now here's the long and the short of it. I hate hockey and I don't like kids.